21-year-old Justin Miska and 22-year-old Michael A.R. Mayers appeared in Superior Court this afternoon and were charged with attempted second-degree robbery and conspiracy to commit second-degree robbery. According to the magistrate's complaint, it was about 5 a.m. yesterday morning. The victim, Su Guo Guan, was gambling inside the Liberation Carnival Casino when he got up and walked out to use the restroom outside. He was in the middle stall of the restroom when two men came in, and one of the men pointed a black pistol at his forehead and said, Five me the cash. Sue showed them his empty wallet and said, I lose all cash, no more cash. The suspects then fled. But there are a lot of security cameras around the carnival grounds and inside the casino itself. Acting Police Spokesman Sergeant Mike Uggen said the suspects were caught on videotape and casino employees knew the sailors by name. The individuals um, went up towards him immediately, placed a gun on, uh, at him, for, uh, pointed it at him, and requested his money. He didn't uh, have any money? He told him he didn't have any money. Uh, they then left. As a result, uh, they were able to get a partial plate and a color of a vehicle. Uh, further review of their um, cameras, they were able to identify, casino. yes, from the casino, they were able to identify a suspect. Had they been gambling in the casino? I don't know if they were gambling that night, but they did know them personally by a couple of people in the casino. So they have been there before? That's what it appears to be. According to the magistrate's report, Miska said that he was present at the planning and execution of the robbery and that both he and Mayers used airsoft pistols, not real guns. And Mayers told investigators that he and Miska came up with the thought of robbing somebody as a joke. He also acknowledged that they had both been drinking. Their escapade came at the end of a night that had seen three previous armed robberies or attempted armed robberies, which is not a joke for any of the victims involved or the police searching for those responsible. Were these two seamen in any way responsible for the three previous armed robbery incidents Monday night, Tuesday morning? We can't say any of that. We're not sure. What the Guam Police Department will continue to do is further that investigation and see if there is. There was an additional armed robbery yesterday afternoon at the Akanta Mall in Tuma, raising this month's total to 11. Seven convenience stores, two restaurants, and two massage parlors. All Sir, armed? All armed. GBD is concerned about the businesses, but what we're also concerned about is we, the public, we do patronize these businesses. We walk into these stores, we walk into these restaurants, and we patronize them. What we don't want is for anybody to walk into a situation like that. So what we're asking now is the public to please come forward and help us. If you have any information on any of the recent armed robberies, Guam Police ask that you call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP or call the Criminal Investigations Division directly at 475-8532 or 475-8551. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.